Hello, it's Capture Fail of Grathorn's Games, and in this completionist Red Hunter run, I'm heading up the west end of Yondershire. There's a little orc filled place on the road towards Duilond in Ered Lewin, and there are now two quests there. So, first, I've got to find the way up. One of those weaving paths. And there'll be somebody there waiting to hear from me. Yes, Gildor, whose concern is with a hobbit child that went missing from Tyfield. But one of the quests involves taking out ten orcs, or half orcs in this case. There's a half orc boss. I'm raining down arrows on them, and here's someone else needing rescue. Who she doesn't become av available until you've killed a certain number of orcs. But I need one more, so I just went back behind the wall, and now I should be able to talk to these other people. And that's it for this little place. But also up the West End, there's someone to find. Someone who's camping here. And I decided to stop and try out Rain of Arrows on a group of boggarts. And it worked wonderfully. So now I know what to do when they're around. And there, there is a deed to take out a certain number of them. And in some cases, I think in even dim when you get similar groups, uh, when you take out a group, only their boss counts, but that just incremented the kill count by six. So it's easier here. Now, that camp sent me on to a place I needed to look at the other map to get some idea of where it is. It's certainly the most isolated place in, um, in Yondershire. So that will probably what be what I do last. Checking out, this is Gamwich. I think I said I was in Gamwich last time, but it wasn't. It was Long Cleave. But this is Gamwich. And I need to fish for a boot. So you want the opposite result to what you normally want with fishing. But there it is. It looks like a fish, but apparently I caught the boot. So that was quickly reported in. And... Uh, since this is my first time here in Gamwich, uh, there are many uh, non-combat quests around, but also this. Now, I thought this was the only hive at first, that's why I kept on using it, but it clearly was not going to yield. And killing the bees incremented a quest for harvest flies for some reason. Now, that's the first time I've been in that pub, so I'm progressing the uh, collecting all the tokens of gratitude. And I'm looking around for what else is here. A few more ring symbols. Ah, then I found the rest of the hives. Some of them produce angry bees and some don't. And I just went up to level 23. So I've straight away switched the uh, tortoise thing back on again. But I've now acquired Burn Hot. Now because of its duration compared with its uh, respawn time, I will probably save it for bosses maybe for groups as well. I can't sort of put it in my standard cy uh, cycle of quests, of uh, skills. Yeah, it, this tells you you have to affect the net 80 times, which is not true. It's a little test of your stubbornness there.
Now the potato business starts off as a follow the trail thing. But it turns out the potatoes are in Ostlagerath, which is a densely populated bandit place. And I'm just waiting until I'm sure that I've got all of the quests for that place so I can do them at one time. Because it's not only densely populated, it's on a very fast respawn. Uh, <clears throat> So it's a real nuisance place if you have to go around the whole thing twice. Now, I'm uh, telling bothersome neighbours not to bother the recluse in this town that keeps her door shut. She's an introvert, so what? Let her. Clotilda, that's her. Okay, there's something else here. I'm not doing the postman uh, quests until late. And I'll do them all at once since one sends me to another. Now we're back to bingo. Of course, this is a not part of Bingo Boffin's normal strain string of quests. This is a special thing just for Yondershire. So he's kind of in two places at once. Well, that's not new for the game at all. Now, taking the stable ride back to No Bottle because there are new things cropped up here. Now, the Boffin family. There's a non-combat sequence here goes on for quite a while uh, but to do with them moving into a new house and one of them has made a painting for one of the others uh, but he wants it back that's what it how it ends up um, so you've got to sneak in and that window is available, it says, but I need to block it with crates so that nobody sees me uh, getting in there. So I went searching around for crates. The message on the quest list on the right changes, and I didn't notice that at first, uh, to tell you exactly where they are. So back and forth, between the pub and the new house. So, a couple of crates there. So, it's make your own cover. Right, that's enough. So now we plot to either, either I steal back the painting or I distract them while Dinadas takes it. Now I found it, but somebody's coming, so I stash it somewhere else. <clears throat> and while I'm talking to these people, Dinadas comes in and he's supposed to be unseen there. And eventually hear him shout because he found it in the place where I stacked it. So he's out and he can adjust the painting whatever he wants to do. That's not the end of the chain yet. Now these two boffins each send me on a new quest, so there's now a parent quest. Should um, I take that off the list so it doesn't confuse my pointer on the minimap? Yeah, possible hiding spots for the painting. Mm -hmm. 
that the other one involves going a bit further. Ring the doorbell. This is the house next door. Ask nosy hobbits what's going on. So they actually have a positive use instead of stopping you from delivering the post. Now we're going back out towards the main entrance to Yonder Shire because Adamanda, who's shifted her position, has more in her chain of quests. So I'm heading back to the stable, going back to Tyfield because. Uh, I'm reporting to Bingo on the painting business. Yeah, Yonder Boars and Fallen Apples are in the same location. So I guess I'm acquiring pork and apple pie for another Hobbit meal. Now there's a Quest for Nika Breakers. In fact, I want to get this. It's four different creatures on the hunting quest. Uh, if I can get it done, it'll stop uh, mucking up my quest pointer because of the fact that you can achieve this over most of the Yonder Shire. You can see the white area there. Uh, it'll be good to get rid of it. So, uh, there's somebody right up the top, yeah, uh, to do with, that's baking the pie, or, or I don't know if I was baking a meat pie and an apple pie there, but uh, only one is needed, but it's to trap uh, a named lynx here. So we're in an instance. Put the bait down, hang the net, and try to see what's going on. Ashenfell, that's the lynx's name. And it's apparently buried under all that netting at the moment. But uh, another nosy hobbit comes to interfere. Tells Adamanda, also known as Diamond, that riding into battle on a lynx's back is a silly idea. So now we're going to find the, the den, but while I'm here, I can handle two parts of the hunting quest, wolves and bears. Right, we found it, and instead of trying to kill Ashenfell, we're uh, putting out danger flags to keep people away. One wolf. <clears throat> I'm not mining with this character, so I'll ignore the gold. All right, let's put the flags out. And now she says, go back to No Bottle and warn everybody. But I saw some wolves and bears, so I'd like to get those two off the list. Oh, and I did a rain of arrows on Boggarts again. I couldn't remember their name the other day. Uh, I have to remember it's the same name as the creatures in Harry Potter that can change their appearance to whatever you fear most. And when I came to Yonder Shire with a very squishy and underleveled character, the Boggart groups were what I feared most. And I couldn't handle, I can't remember what class that was, but I couldn't handle the numbers. And really a group is the most dangerous thing for this character too. Uh, it's just that I'm better equipped. Um, <clears throat> 
but the rain of arrows is going to work fine. Okay, uh, now I want Nika Breakers and Shrews, the other kind, the other half of the hunting quest. And I just gave in the last warning about the links. So back to Adamanda Diamond. Now yeah, we're back in Thai Field. No, we no, we're at Longcleaf. Um, mainly just to hand things in, but uh, this is the end of a couple of quest chains. And straight back to Adamanda. Now, now she wants me to meet her at the gate, which is beyond Tyfield. So I took a ride to Tyfield, mount up, and I noticed I'm back in a Shrew and Nikabrika area. So I determined to finish off that a quadruple hunting quest before I do anything else. So I started doing, uh, using the hunting ability for shrews again. <laughs> Though there turned out to be one right in front of me. Look for the shrews. Two more. Nika breakers were easier to find, but that's it. I can hand that in now and get a decent pointer on my mini map. So here's the gate on the road towards Ered Luin, and I'm going to go along the wall. Now I can see plenty of enemies. Ah, oh, this lie was a, an accident. But this is fulfilling a second quest, one to take out ruffians anywhere in Yondershire. So I'm doing two things at once now. And I found the gate and the place where they're trying to uh, knock a hole in the wall. And just kept on doing uh, rain of arrows on pairs of them. Right, report in to Diamond. Hello, Diamond. Now back to Noble. Uh, no, I, I came back to Gamwich first, but I've been sent back to Noble. Now I checked and made sure I still had every quest on the list. Uh, it turned out the ring symbol at no bottle was just the parent quest, so that wasn't really the right place. Well, I'm getting to a point where I think I've got three quests uh, at Ost Lagerath in the north, and one of them is a mithril point, so uh, once I've handed that in to him, I'll be going soon. Oh, the upset hobbits. Yeah, I did this first. Uh, 20 of them in different villages, but uh, you can't do this any sooner because it's the end of, on the end of Fredegar's long uh, chain of quests. So I'm doing the noble upset hobbits first. There are really uh, four villages here, uh, but there are two other stables, which are just sort of outposts. And I haven't tagged either of those stables. I've had no uh, need to 
go past them except when I was carrying a package. I couldn't do it then. But you can see all the ring symbols on the map in all four of the places. When I did this for the first time and didn't know, you know, which quests were going to lead to quest chains, uh, I did this right near the end and I did hunting the shrews right near the end. This run will be a bit more efficient in terms of not going to places multiple times or more times than I need to. Right, uh, this is uh, Upset Hobbits in Gamwich. 18, so there must be some further abroad. This is the most sprawling of the four villages. Hobbit urban sprawl. Okay, now that's handed in, which has done me a reputation deed. Now, I took a shortcut to the, the road from Needle Hole. And I find Fredegar Bulger confronting Lotho Sackville Baggins, of all people. So both of those two hobbits are in Tolkien's books, but they don't actually meet in the book. Uh, and anyway, he said, move on to a hidden place, but I, but now's the time I decided to come to Ostlagrath and hack my way through this dense bunch of bandits. Now, uh, I did had no idea where the potatoes were. And I kind of went in the right direction first, but didn't see them. So I do a much more thorough job of taking out all these guys than I really needed to. But I haven't actually counted it yet. Yeah, that archer up on the bridge made it really hard for me. I've got the biggest crowd against me that I've got since. Uh, uh, But I have to go to these crates of suspicious goods. Again, I'm gonna, I think I'm getting fragments of a map or a document of some kind. Oops, stuck. Again, uh, Yondershire, when I first did Yondershire, I came here underleveled and squishy and found that uh, I was getting too many opponents at once. But now that they're blue and now we're with rain of arrows and low cut, I can handle it. Right, now the uh, potatoes are actually in that rotunda in the middle there, but no matter what angle I looked at it from, uh, I could not see it. So I assumed it was over the other side. And with experience turned off, I'm not getting any experience for all taking out all these. Uh, I had to use the map to make sure, it, uh, well, to try and find the potatoes, but it was only highlighting the entire area. Now you can see from that poacher how quick the respawn is. And these are, guys are back, but the one place I hadn't been to was up these stairs. So I thought that must be where the potatoes are. Maybe they're in one of these supply crates, but no, they're for the usual supply crates that just uh, give you random stuff. I don't think I've ever found anything really good in one of those crates or... Um, 
corpses, random corpses, any of those treasure yielders. Well, I tried them anyway. I thought, what, did I miss it down on the low level? Kept looking at the map, but it was unhelpful. What, is it out this way? Nope. So now I've got to get back up on the bridge. And fight respawns again, including these. That, that next archer for the third time. That guy. <clears throat> and you still can't see it. It's still not highlighted. I think, yeah, you have to go and stand right up close to it before it's highlighted. Uh, and I would have found it sooner if I was a melee character because I had to, would have had to go up there to fight those guys and seen it then. But took a shortcut back to the quest giver. Yeah, I hope I don't have to return there again. But that was three quests at once being fulfilled. Right, now I'm flipping around, largely using Mithril to report things back in. But now uh, I'm using my uh, nickel delving hunter teleport uh, to get back on the stable network. Loads of stuff to sell. I'm checking it all for anything usable. Uh, when I did crafting for level 22, I didn't get myself um, new jewelry from my jeweler. Uh, because I still was using stuff from uh, Swanfleet and Cardolan. Um, <clears throat> but I will be uh, making myself a full set when I go to level 32 gear. Yeah. Gam Witch is still generating new quests. Herbs guarded by wolves, which I no longer need. And this place is the hiding location. <laughs> 